Hello friends, Dan here. I want to get you started with LightPanel. Let's get you started on the right foot. The first thing you want to do is install the application. And to do that, you're going to need to find the installer. You've either downloaded that already. It came in, in an email when you made a purchase, or if you've downloaded the trial off the website, it will be where your downloads from your browser live. Simply double click on the LightPanel installer to get started. Then just walk through the installer screens to get LightPanel installed. I'm going to show you first on a Mac, and then I'll show you what it looks like on Windows. After the installation process is complete, the next step is to launch Adobe Lightroom Classic. Remember, LightPanel works inside of Lightroom, so launching LightPanel on its own isn't going to do you any good. You need to launch Lightroom. The first time you launch Lightroom after installing LightPanel, both applications will launch at the same time. And the LightPanel window will normally be on top of Lightroom. However, if you click on Lightroom, it might get pushed behind instead. What you're going to want to do is rearrange your Lightroom window to make room for LightPanel next to it. Now, if you have two displays, you can move LightPanel to a secondary display. Or if you're working on a single display environment like I am, I'm just simply going to move LightPanel over to the right hand side then click on Lightroom and make the Lightroom window smaller so that I can see both side by side. Once you've done this the first time, it will remember the window size and position and you won't have to do this again. Now, if you don't want LightPanel to launch automatically with Lightroom, you can do it manually as well. To control that, go to your Preferences button and on the first tab, turn off the Start with Lightroom option. Then to manually launch LightPanel, in Lightroom, go to the File, plug in Extras menu, and select Light Panel Start. There's one other set of preferences that you'll want to set before you do your first job inside of Light Panel. Let's go to the Preferences, and I'm going to click on the Culling tab. Light Panel uses the common metadata settings of the flag, stars, and colors to create the different groups that the culling process will automatically find for you. It will find selected photos, that's any photo that isn't out of focus or has blurred eyes or has any duplicates. So really anything that's an individual good photo. By default, it's going to set that to four stars, but you can set that to whatever star or color or flag rating you like. If it's a duplicate photo, that means there are two or more photos that look similar to each other, they'll be assigned three stars. Then for the eyes closed and the blur, you can set either a star rating or a color rating. For me, I like to set the eyes closed to get a yellow flag, or if it's blurry, to get a red flag. But again, it adapts to whatever color rating or star rating that you like to use for your workflow. All right, there you go. That's how simple it is to get started with Light Panel. In the next video, we're going to walk you through the culling process, how to actually do your first culling job.